everyone, it's Christina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you different styles of earrings for your cartilage. I'm going to be showing you guys three different hoops for your cartilage because I personally love hoops for my cartilage. And I'm going to show you guys two different styles of studs for your cartilage. I personally prefer hoops just because it allows your ear to breathe a little bit better. For me, it's more comfortable when I'm sleeping. I got pierced with a gun back at Walmart like 10 years ago. I didn't have a problem until six months after I got my ears pierced. They both got bubbles on the back and I think it was just because my earrings were starting to really irritate my ear. So that's when I switched to a hoop. And that's when I learned a hoop was the best for my ear because the back wasn't irritating it, wasn't rubbing against it when I was sleeping. So I've had the most success with hoops. And I never feel them when I'm sleeping. It doesn't irritate me. If whenever I do switch to a stud, it starts to bother me more. So that's why I just keep a hoop in there. So I am going to be showing you guys three different hoops. And then I'm going to also show you guys an internally threaded earring, which is also really good for your cartilage just because it does allow room for your ear to breathe. And it does have a flat back so it doesn't get caught to anything. And then I'll show you guys a really, really cute stud for your cartilage as well. This is the earring that you normally see in all my videos. It's just a regular hinged hoop. So it does clip in the back just very simple it doesn't really get caught to anything I don't have any problems I've had this one in for like four years and I'm fine with it some people don't like the fact that it clips in the back if you don't you can go with a continuous hoop which I'll show you next so this is a 14 karat rose gold continuous hoop a continuous hoop is just rounded there's no hinge to it so you don't have to worry about getting caught to anything they can be a pain just because you, um, you have to actually fit the earring inside of the other part of the earring so they do get a little bit tricky so this is a huggy huggies are good because they're supposed to hug your ear they're supposed to be like a little bit of a tighter fit and again they don't have the hinge in the back so they would be really good for the cartilage as well Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is an internally threaded earring. They're especially made for the cartilage. They're gauged, so if you've got your ears pierced at like a tattoo shop, they are a little bit thicker than a regular earring, but they're very comfortable. Again, they're flat on the back, very important for cartilages. It's supposed to be more comfortable when you're sleeping, and there's still room, even though it is a sudden, there's more room for your ear to breathe, and it screws in through the front. you could do like a regular earring that has like a regular backing I'll show you the back this one specifically is an ear crawler so it goes down your ear you can wear it up here or you can wear it like at the bottom if you wanted to um, sometimes it depends on comfort with me personally I don't like to wear normal studs but I probably wouldn't sleep in something like this but they're really really cute perfect for like a night out or if you just like a lot of glam these are really really pretty those were some different styles that you can go with when it comes to your cartilage if you guys found this video helpful and you want to see more jewelry inspired videos, then give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys.